Anybody else? Hi, Master. I I just want to thank you for yes, last night. You thank you for bringing out the story about the brother from Paris Center. Um, it's not about the story. It's the way you deal with it. It's really very touching, and clear clarify the situation. What did I do? <laughs> because we maybe I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, you did because you. You put love in the first place, very considerate, and still understand very well the brother. Yeah, we live in this world, it's very difficult, you know, very difficult. Difficult for him, difficult for everyone, okay? Yeah, so of course I understand, huh? Even though I'm a little hesitant about it, but it's okay. I understand. Today, the car. Um, that drives me. Your brother, he forgot to change his clothes, and I almost vomited in the car. <laughs> it, you know, we, sometimes we smell, but we don't smell ourselves. Other people smell. It happened to me also. Maybe I smell. You never told me because you're too polite. <laughs> it's okay in a big space, but in a small car, it's a little difficult to... I'm sensitive, that's all. And then uh, in front of me, always there was a motorcycle filming all these black things out, and we couldn't escape because the road is small. I was just worried that I vomit in the car only. <laughs> yes, and also many other things, yeah? On the, car, on the road, you know, there are always many cars. Many cars mean always something risky, huh? Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to risk, then you just stay on your bed. Yeah, all day, all night. And finally, you die anyway, <laughs> on your bed. <laughs> Most people die in bed, you know that? Yes. yes. So it doesn't matter. We, we just play with it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I want to be safe, then I should never step my feet here. Huh? But you have to take risks sometimes for the sake of everyone else. Huh? I'm taking risks every day. Every day I live on this planet, I'm taking risk. So we just take one more risk. <laughs> no big deal, yeah? Uh, I'm not dealing anything, I'm just saying the, the way I think it is, yeah? Okay? <laughs> anything else, love? Yes, yes just um, because when we work together, we're, it's so easy, we misunderstand each other, even between initiatives. Yes. Um, can you... Tell, tell us more about that, how to um, treat each other without this, without too much emotion, mm. always put love in the first place. Mm. Think about it first before you want to say something. Consider yourself the other person. What would he think? Why would he have done that? Or why would she have talked like that? Yes, he might have, have some reason. And if you don't know at all, then you sit and talk together, you know. You know, I, I know, brother, I didn't really know what you mean, you know, maybe you didn't mean to hurt me or hurt the group, but could you please explain why you say that or why you did that, huh? okay? Everybody have to talk, talk it out, yeah? When you misunderstand, then you ask again, did you really mean that or did you mean this or did I misunderstand you, okay? You, you will find it many times, surprisingly, the person doesn't even know what you, <laughs> what you meant. They don't understand why you were so upset or something like that, yes. But it's, uh, it's, I don't know why you upset with each other because, well, I don't know, maybe you, you could, could be when you're working in a rush or something, in, in some uh, difficult situation and it seems like the communication doesn't go well, that, that you could be very upset, very upsetting. Don't forget we all have personalities and characters and background, you know. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> An ego, of course. <laughs> yeah, ego, of course. This is a problem. And uh, whenever assigned some job, then you have to make clear instruction. Eh? And if anything go wrong, then you have to go back to each other and discuss it. Yeah, and tell the problem. Don't just try to fix everything by yourself when you cannot. Hmm? Maybe sometime ruin the atmosphere, ruin the job. But you know, this is just worldly speaking. It's all karma at work, okay? Karma between each other, karma of the world, 
karma of the suffering of the planet, it makes us like that, okay? Yes. Uh, even by me also, you know, with someone I feel more peaceful, with someone else I would feel less peaceful. Or with someone I would work better or understand better, quicker, and with someone else I would have to explain a lot and still doesn't understand or doesn't want to. It's okay, whatever, try to do the best. <laughs> try to do the best. And even if you cannot solve it, just forgive. Yeah. Maybe, you see, all of you are not expert in, uh, in, in going out and doing things that you are not doing normally. See, so it's about to happen that maybe you don't do it well. Hmm? Like uh, before, you just uh, stay home and take care of your family and children, then you do well, yes? But when you go out and you're assigned to do something like um, some charity work or go out and deal with some authority, yeah, then you, you're not uh, well uh, experienced, yeah? Then maybe you do something wrong. Same with your brother or other sister, yes? And they might do things that you don't feel like is correct, just because they don't have experience in that, and they just try their best. So whatever happened, we just accept it, okay? Talk with each other, but then accept it. What else to do? We're still brothers and sisters. We're still the, you know, the most trusted among us. Yeah? We can trust each other here, hmm? okay? <laughs> right. Very difficult to work together, especially when you do something for the world. If you do things at home, no problem. Or if you do for yourself, yeah? Or a normal thing, then it's no problem. But once you want to work to benefit this planet or the world, then the, the karma set in, yes? And even uh, the one you get on very well before suddenly don't get on well anymore, <laughs> okay? And, and that's why, you know, this, uh, the good driver here, <laughs> you yeah, go through the go through the red light, they didn't even know what happened. <laughs> and many of my drivers also, okay? They don't know what happened. Just say like that, easy. Don't know what happened. <laughs> what to do, don't know. Okay, huh? Misunderstand or not, still need to understand, okay? <laughs> Anything else? Yes. Um, yesterday, last night, you talked about your becoming very pure, pure and pure all the time. Mm. Um, can you tell more about that? I don't know how. <laughs> yes, because um, it's such a comfortable feeling to be being pure. A comfortable feeling, yes. Yeah, yes. being pure. Uh, you all don't know, right? You also know. Just sometimes I know, but uh -huh. when I'm not pure, I, I really don't like it. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Nobody does. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. That's how but what to do? We live in the world is like that. You have to work it until you, you, you reach a one level and then it won't happen anymore. Mm. We just get more and more, you know. Right now maybe someday this, someday that, some this and that, you know. But once you reach a certain level, then it just go upward. Even then, someday more, someday less for me, yeah? <laughs> because you deal with the world, you know, other people, not just yourself. It's, uh, the whole world is uh, affecting each other. Huh? So even one day, even now, still someday I don't meditate that as well as other day. And I don't gain, for example, someday like four, five, seven billion, a zillion of zillion, other day just two. Because I have to be busy with other things, preoccupied here, yes? Because even just one or two attendants, they can cost a lot of work. You have to think, you know, they just too much sometimes. And then all the dog gets sick, or I have to repair some house, or <laughs> have to move the house and waste, lost a lot of time and energy. Hmm? Then at that day, I don't earn that, that much, like the day before, or the day before that, or the day after. And then my purity also doesn't go as high, doesn't improve as high as the day before or the day after. Yes, but I know it's not my fault. <laughs> what can I do? I know very well. So the thing is, you have to accept yourself, and you also know that it's not all your fault, and you don't hate yourself. That's important, okay? You know that you do your best, and you're getting better all the time, and you don't do anything bad intentionally, okay, to harm anyone or yourself. 
for it to go high, very difficult. I never thought I could. And even to earn so much, I never thought I could. But I just uh, do it according to situation. Eh? And whatever it is, I'm just always focused on spiritual aspect. No matter how low, how down I am, how tired, how burdened, you know, how sick or anything at all affected me, I'm always focused on spiritual practice. So, for example, if I have to move to two houses or I have a chance to move to two houses, yeah? Well, not a chance, but if I have to, and I have a chance to choose between two houses to move to, yeah? I always consider a spiritual aspect. If the second house has more spiritual atmosphere, I always move there, even if it's smaller, it has no facility, and, uh, you know, has nothing appealing at all. According to my taste, even, understand? You know, I like beautiful things, of course, like everybody else, and I like what I like. But when it comes to spiritual practice, I don't choose anything except spiritual practice except for spiritual development, okay? Even now, even now. So when, whenever I think, okay, that, that place is a very spiritually uplifted, you know? And then I go over there. But the next days or a few days later, I discover another place uh, more powerful. Then this place don't appeal to me anymore. <laughs> even if it is in front of the beach or has a beautiful mountain or convenience of any kind or cheap or beautiful, or convenient, whatever. I just drop it like hot potato. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so soul should be with you, huh? All right, yes. And remember, your brother and sister, they're also still partly human, eh? Mm. They make mistakes also. And uh, they have their egos also. Hmm? Yeah, ego is a terrible thing to deal with. Oh, I'm tired of that, but never mind. I'll try your best. <laughs> Con, con chào sư phụ Dạ con là chào. Tự, <cười> Con từ Việt Nam đến Biết rồi dạ. <cười> Qua được là mấy lắm mà qua lẽ vậy hả Dạ sư phụ à, Con con lần đầu tiên đến á lần Cũng là lần đầu tiên con gặp được sư phụ á Dạ à, Bữa nay á hả Dạ lần Con kỳ trước sao không gặp Dạ Không có điều kiện sư phụ Ok rồi sao dạ. uhm, con... Thấy tôi đẹp không <cười> Coi được mắt không? Dạ, dạ. <cười> dạ. Yes. Con, con có có mang một ít trái cây ở Việt Nam qua tặng ừ. sư phụ. Ừ. Đâu chia ra mỗi người ăn đi, sư phụ cũng ăn hết trong Dạ. Cho. Dạ. À. <cười> Măng cục quá hả? Dạ không, xoài, cá xoài. hoa lọc nói sư phụ. À biết rồi, biết rồi. Dạ. Rồi đưa cho mấy người nhà bếp, đó, mỗi người ăn chút cho vui. Dạ, ừ. ngày mai. Dạ. Con cảm ơn sư phụ. Và con muốn nói lại sư phụ là con nhớ ngài. Và... Nhớ tôi. <cười> Và con... con thương sư phụ. Thank you. Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn cô. Bữa nay ai nấu cơm cho tôi vậy? Ok. Ngày hôm qua bà tính đem cái canh chua về nhà ăn mà bà quên bà chạy ra bà quên để lại bữa nay còn canh chua đó không hay ăn hết rồi hết rồi mai nấu lại nha ok chứ không phải chê nha tại quên á quên hả tính đem theo mà sao nó đậy lại quên mất tiêu là đi cho lẹ ra đó quên mất chứ không phải chê nha đừng buồn nha mai nấu nữa nha chơi cũng được đâu sao mai giống y vậy nha không dạ yeah. ừ. <laughs> Talk about food again, yeah. <laughs> no, I just apologize for one of uh, my cook because I didn't take her soup. There were two kind of soups yesterday, and I ate just one, and the other one I wanted to take it with me, but I forgot. Yes, I forgot it two, three times already, not just yesterday. Mấy bữa trước muốn đem cũng quên nữa, hoặc là đem để đó rồi quên <laughs> đi đi không về không không tính đem về chia cho mấy người nhà ăn nữa đó quên. I wanted to take some and maybe share with some of the uh, home people at home, but I forgot. Sometimes I forgot to take, sometimes I pack it all already and forgot the pack. <laughs> it's not the first time. I không phải chê, hả? I say not like I don't like it, it's just I forgot. Because uh, sometimes I run fast out, you know? Okay, ai nữa đâu? Còn, còn ai đâu? Nữa quá từ Việt Nam đâu? <laughs> Vietnamese đâu? You want? Yeah, I want to talk. Đồng chí muốn nói gì? 
Muốn nói gì không cưng? Ờ, à, xứ Xang Cảng đó. Ở Xang Cảng đâu phải Việt Nam đâu. Hào <cười> <cười> với chàng cho chàng. Ờ, à, 我想問問, ờ, à, 因為我我是做游泳教練的. 我想, ờ, à, 經常有同學跟我說我做那個行業會影響我修行. 嗯? 怎麼會? 因為游泳池很多人游泳,那些口水,那那些東西. 我很會用喝就好了. 但是我们要下水教小朋友的就经常会有那个口水就是喷到你的脸上 喜歡表示說是你的那個最適的那個嗯責任的任務的 <笑> 才能夠種菜出來的想一想就不想吃了不要說客气好了客气怎么了不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能不能
这边真的很好，嗯。所以我就想，在北京能不能找到一些稍微再好一点感觉的地方、啊、？OK， 那你继续继续找吧，哈、啊。边<笑>祷告边找看看哈、啊，嗯，感觉好就 OK 了，嗯啊，嗯，嗯啊、不然的话找到哈、啊，说。啊，现在就是世界上有很多所谓的那个新新能源啊，什么太阳能啊，或者风能啊之类的。嗯。呃，可能从高境界的角度来看，有点太小孩的玩意，就是说并不能真正解决问题。但是这世界也还有人在做这些事情。我是说，呃，参与这些项目，就是说。建设这种新能源是不是对这世界有帮助呢？当然有啊，嗯，帮助人类呀、啊，很多啊，嗯。但是感觉越来会越好啊。感觉感觉这些科技有点太太落后吧。啊，不过它从应该从这边开始嘛，我们<笑>还不够能力啊。OK， 以后多修行的人的话，也会有更多好的啊，嗯。目前在还是很落后，是。太阳能是没有，不能供应很多，那个风能也不不多，懂吗？对，呀，不过很好啊。比方说，我住那个那个，有一个地方没水没电了，那个太阳能电已经很好啊，<笑>可以可以那个插我的电话，也可以插那个小小的吸尘器啊，一个一个吸灰尘啊，我可以插嗯、呃、电钻。哎，哎呀，可以可以充那个电啊，然后才能够钻那个螺丝啊。哎呀，蛮不错嘞。哎，还有那个，哎，差不多这样了。<笑>对，因为没有那个电动钻的话，那个有一些地方也不能锁，也不能盖起来呢，也蛮不错。是。那像又有延长这个二十年的时间，不知道这个世界的科技还会发展，比如说那个免费的能源会不会那个得到这个？我们继续看吧，哈。<笑> OK， 看最重要的那小事情，慢慢来看了，好不好？嗯，好。免费能源呢，不晓得了，这个还不是很重要，大家是要吃素才行的，懂吗？嗯，是。哦、oh, ，那我们还能为我们那个地区还能再做一些什么样的事情？除了做素食，然后常来打坐，素食打坐啊，祷告，嗯，<笑>那个是最重要的呢。打坐是很重要，打坐那意念很重要，嗯，分享给世界。OK， 好的，谢谢师傅。啊，不客气。Sound meditation. Yeah, tell me. If someone meditate more on sound meditation than light meditation, it should be should be a、uh, balance. Yeah, it's the time of initiation already told. Okay. What's the side effect? Nothing. Just、uh, might not be as good. You don't feel as good. Yeah. Yeah, so. Chứ còn ha. không biết nói với hên thành tâm là con cảm ơn sư phụ sư phụ đã dạy chị con rất nhiều con con nhớ có lần chăm nhất mà có con đó sư phụ ôm con vào lòng và sư phụ có nói với con câu đó con à đời của con khổ dữ lắm con gắn tụ pháp môn quán âm này đó sau này con hết khổ、ừ. đúng vậy khi con theo sư phụ tới giờ đó thì cuộc đời con đó thì cũng hết khổ bất khổ nhưng, dạ hết luôn, hết luôn. <cười> nhưng mà、wow. cái nghịch cảnh đó là sau này con có con có chồng đó thì con có nói trước đó bản thân con là tu theo sư phụ、ừ. con ăn chay con tu pháp môn quán âm、ừ. thì chồng con có hứa với con đó là anh sang chay với con、ừ. nhưng mà theo sư phụ đó để anh tìm hiểu nếu、ừ. mà hợp thì anh sẽ quỳ hai tay hai chân anh theo、ừ. nhưng mà cuối cùng rồi anh thắt hứa với con、ừ. và anh ăn mặn thì con、ừ. đã dứt phát chia tay. Nào,、oh. dạ. Rồi sao? Thì, thì bây giờ cuộc sống của con thì lúc nào có sư phụ đó thì bây giờ hiện đại đời của con sống là chỉ có sư phụ thôi.、Ừ. Con đi theo bước chân của sư phụ, cô đơn, cô đơn, sống, cô đơn. <cười> sống cô đơn để、no. mà tu hành chứ không có nghĩ mấy cái vấn đề đó. I don't feel anything cô đơn. <cười> dạ, nhưng à, 
Mà buồn hả cô đơn hả? Dạ không, con không. cô đơn vì bên cạnh con có sư phụ và tất cả các đồng tu okay, thương hiệu con, rồi. con không có cô đơn. Thì hôm nay con nhận được quà của sư phụ thì con trong lòng con sẽ đem về đó con mua kẹo con nuôi đó để cho đồng tu mình trước. Và thứ hai đó là có một cái người bạn đồng tu á muốn hỏi sư phụ đó xin sư phụ cho biết ý kiến đó là cái vị đồng tu này muốn mở một cái nhà hàng lâu vinh hút mà nó mở lớn để mà làm cái tiệc để uh, đặt người ta đặt đồ chai đồ đám cưới đồ này kia vậy đó ừ. như vậy là tốt hay không tốt xin sư phụ cho biết ý kiến như vậy mở nhà hàng mở thì mà tốt không tốt dạ không tại vì cô ta muốn mở cái một cái nhà hàng rất lớn để mà đặc biệt đó là đại cái những cái tiệc cưới à, này kia rồi. đó uh-huh. Nếu mà làm được thì làm chứ có gì đâu. Ok. Ok, cảm ơn ừ. Thử coi. Hả? <cười> mà, hả? Thử coi. Có lời thì biết liền. Còn không có lời cũng biết liền. À. <cười> Nhưng phải coi cho chỗ cho tốt nha. À. Coi chỗ nào tốt á. Ok. Chứ không phải chỗ nào cũng mở đại nha. Ừ. Dạ. Con chào sư phụ. Ừ. Con, con ở bên Úc. Ừ. Muốn mở nhà hàng bên Úc hả? Dạ vâng. À. Đó là ý của con Ok, mở chứ nhà hàng chỗ nào mà người mà coi bộ có kiếm khách được mới mở nha Ok Dạ, dạ vâng con... Đừng có mở đại rồi cầu sư phụ rồi tôi làm sao Tôi chạy qua đó tôi tôi ăn hả <cười> Sư phụ mở nhà hàng rồi sư phụ nấu rồi sư phụ ăn một mình luôn <cười> Ok, có đủ tiền không? Dạ, con chắc đủ Ok, đủ thì ok Dạ Mà mở lớn quá được hả? Được hả? Okay. Dạ, được à, Sao cũng được, ai thì mở lớn đó thì chừng nào có nhiều có party thì mình mình mở hết ra còn thường ngày thì mình đóng những cái chỗ đó lại để mình cái nhà hàng nó nhỏ nhỏ cho nó nó ấm cúng hiểu không? Dạ. Yeah, dạ. Yeah. Yeah. Con cảm ơn sư phụ. Dạ yeah, ok. Yeah. Chúc lành nhé. Chúc lucky. Dạ. <cười> yeah, con cảm ơn sư phụ. Ok, let's uh, do meditation. Alright. 